Um, I'm a painter called Susie Hamilton, and I grew up in the countryside, and I had quite an isolated childhood, and this perhaps explains the role of solitary figures in my work. My father, who I didn't know very well, hardly at all, was a polar explorer who was um, trapped in ice for a very long, under ice for a very long time. And his exploits and the danger that he faced um, and exploration generally have influenced my work, um, as have other wilderness settings in which figures are up against challenges. And this has uh, led to a kind of style in which figures melt or are disfigured or damaged in the environments that they face. Um, my biggest influences, I think, were nature in my the landscape in my childhood, to which I turned um, as a respite from the humans that I found quite um, difficult, the, the, the people that um, in my family, um, and then later on, <clears throat> literature, uh, literature, French and English literature particularly, have been um, a great influence on my painting, and I also did a degree in PhD in Shakespeare studies. So Shakespeare, um, and in particular the the role of the other world, the supernatural or uncanny world, impinging on the um, environment of my figures, has been an influence uh, on my painting. Uh, and another influence, other influences of course, are artists. Um, I talked about figures being dismembered and um, damaged in, in, in my work. And, <clears throat> of course, Francis Bacon was an early influence in this respect, um, as was, slightly later, Cy Twombly with his erasure and use of mess, and also his literary and classical references. Uh, at the moment, I'm continuing with these ideas, um, and one of my sources is Ovid and his Metamorphoses. So I'm doing um, groups of fi figures in Bacchanalia uh, settings, Bacchanalian um, revelry, uh, and also swamps um, with strange things coming out of the water. Uh, this uh, is a continuation of an interest in alchemy and uh, alchemical figures in Shakespeare and other literary texts. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges of being an artist is finding new ideas, finding the subject that really grips you, that comes from the gut, that's not just going through the motions or repeating what you've done before. I tend to reinvent myself all the time, um, finding new ways of expressing uh, what it is that preoccupies me. And although maybe the root of my feelings remains the same, the expression of them um, or the expression of it changes over time. And I don't tend to repeat subject matter. Uh, I tend to find something new. Um, <clears throat> the advice I'd give my younger self is don't give up. Um, unexpectedly good things happen. Um, don't become dis disheartened when things seem not to be going well. Um, and don't listen to all the advice of your tutors at art school because I was told I mustn't be both abstract and figurative, for example, as a painter. But it's precisely the interface between abstraction and figura figuration that um, preoccupies me. Um, an unconventional medium or technique I've employed is dropping fairy liquid, a solution of fairy liquid, into um, a layer of acrylic paint and the liquid blurs and blooms out into cell formations which I've used as part of my beach paintings and to express the idea of another rather menacing and in this case bacteriological world intruding on the world of the sunbathers and swimmers. Um, no, I don't listen to music at all. I have to have silence, complete silence when I work. And um, so if anyone listens to music when, when, um, when I'm working, I have to tell them, please, please not, please turn it down. Uh, 
I think the best reaction that someone had to my work was when I was working for the Hospital Rooms Mental Health Charity in um, a unit in, in Exeter. And um, I did a big mural of um, a Sami, a reindeer herder, going towards light in a, in a wilderness. And one of the, um, the patients uh, was very taken with the light in the picture. And he told one of the staff, um, an NHS official, to come and look at this work because the light was so, was so wonderful. And I was very pleased that he had that reaction to it. And I think um, that's the kind of reaction I want people to have um, from my work, to, to feel energised and um, inspired and met um, both in dark places and um, happy places or blissful places. I feel that my work is ambivalent and, to quote Shakespeare, it's a mingled yarn of good and ill. So there are painful and pleasurable elements that are intertwined in it and I think I'd like um, people to pick up on that and so I hope this has given you some insight into into what I do thank you <laughs>